The Big River Resources Ethanol Dry Mill in Galva, Illinois is an example of an average Midwestern ethanol plant. Here at the Galva plant, Big River ships 300,000 gallons of ethanol to Europe and sends additional dried distiller's grains, or DDGs, the byproducts of distilling ethanol, by rail to Chicago, as well as places as far as China and Malaysia. Every day, the 110 bushels of grain used to make DDGs and ethanol are supplied to the Galva plant by farmers within a 40-mile radius. With the arrival of the grain, the ethanol production process commences. As the grain moves from the plant's large silos onto an elevated pipeline into the plant itself, the grain is screened to eliminate debris and ground into a coarse flour. The now ground grain enters a cooking process that breaks its starches down using high water pressure, high temperatures, and inserted enzymes. After the cooking process, the grain is now referred to as mash and sets off to be fermented. The enzyme glucomase, or gluco, is added to break down the mash into a simpler sugar, and yeast is added to convert the sugars into ethanol and carbon dioxide. After a 50 to 55 hour fermentation process, the result is a mixture of 15% ethanol as well as solids from grain and yeast. Next, the fermented mash is ready to be distilled. Here, high temperatures are used to boil off the water and separate the ethanol, in the end leaving 95% ethanol in a residue called stillage, which contains the non-fermentable solids. The remaining 5% of water left in the 190 proof ethanol is run through a sieve, where the remaining water is evaporated and the now 200 proof ethanol is stored. Though the ethanol process has ended, the stillage from the distiller's tanks is used to make DDGs, or dried distiller's grains. The DDGs will be sold as high-protein food for livestock and are shipped around the country.